it, it really it, it is feeling like a party out here. There's a lot of food. There's a lot of people kind of hanging out and socializing, moving around all over the place. Brian is one of the folks that's been out here all night. Show the anchors back at the studio what you've been doing. So I've been watching uh, the news while we were sitting out here in line, so I've actually been watching uh, on my iPad. So there's a little bit of a delay, but it's still pretty good quality. Yeah, it's still really good quality. You get to see all the goofy kids out here and uh, get to watch all of us. And I've actually uh, taken some screenshots of some of the people in, who are in the front of the line and emailed them to them so they can uh, have them for posterity. So if you have an iPad, and I'm sure you have other Mac features at home, why do you need the new iPhone? Um, my license plate doesn't say Mac Geek for nothing. Um, it's uh, it's sort of important for me to have the new uh, eye toys and all that stuff. So. so what is it about Mac products that you love so much? Um, I work in a technical field, and so I, I spend day, spend all my days working with computers and stuff, and, and basically Macs just work, and I don't have to think about them. It, it's just, they just work. That's, I, I think we're going to leave it right there. Thanks so much, Brian. Now, uh, Craig is walking around. You can see that the line extends quite a bit out here, just so that people have an idea of how long of a line we're talking about. If you're familiar with the Biltmore, it wraps from the store all the way past the Cheesecake Factory, which it extends all the way down this hall and all the way around the other side of the building. But here's the good news. If you haven't been in line all night, you may, may be in the operative word, still have a chance at getting one of these phones. They, uh, Apple people tell me that they're not sure how many they have back there, but they have enough to at least most likely accommodate all these people in line and then some. So if you haven't camped out, there's still a chance for you to get your uh, hands on a phone. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm going to keep out here and uh, hang out with all these folks, and uh, we'll keep updating you guys throughout the hour, and we'll be here for when they open the doors. Yeah, and you know, um, maybe you should get Brian's number, because if I have any questions about computer stuff, with them, which I always do, he's obviously the one to call, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he is definitely the guy to call. So uh, he's been out here all long and watching all the different hits and pulling things up. It's it's really cool. It's fun to see him on that, because I've not really seen the iPad in, you know, working. No, so that I know. was kind of cool to see that and how he was watching us on the news. I hope he, he should have looked down and saw himself. I know. I hopefully he did. I mean, yeah. he's probably watching it now. Say, yeah. Look at how good I did. <laughs> the iPhone 4 goes on. On sale this morning and everybody's excited and they are folks lining up across the valley this morning uh, and the country to get their hands on one uh, Jose uh, Miguel is out at the Arizona Biltmore what time do the stores open there today Jose they will open the doors here at 7 o'clock, so that's the first chance that people out here will get their hands on the new iPhone. And just, I'm, I moved a little further back in the line just so you can see how far this all extends. Again, like, if you have a, an idea of what the Biltmore is like, the Mac store goes around the corner all the way down to the Cheesecake Factory. That's the back of the line, and it kind of wraps around through there. A lot of these people have been out here just doing anything and everything to go ahead and pass the time. They're watching movies. They're socializing. A lot of people are playing games. The Apple Store or even supplied some free food for these people. A lot of the local businesses here in the Biltmore are also supplying a lot of free stuff. People are just doing everything they can to go ahead and pass this time, especially since they've been out here since like 9 o'clock last night. That's the time the earliest person got out here. And again, this is all for the new i4. It's got a lot of cool features on it. It's got a lot of video features and things like that. Now, uh, uh, Chris, I want you to take a good look right now at the monitor. We found a very good app application that you might be interested in. Brian, our little uh, technical guy that we spoke to last, show everybody at home the, the application that you were able to find. Happy birthday, Chris. Oh, that's cool. And that's so cool. you've been out, and Brian, you've been out here since last night. Yeah. Are you looking forward? To, uh, the doors are going to open in the next couple minutes. I'm really excited. I've never been more excited at the launch of the iPhone 4 than this moment right now. <laughs> and and you were able to do this for our, our anchor back at the studio, and I'm, I'm sure he's uh, li liking that a lot. Awesome. <laughs> Anything to help. <laughs> Thanks. And again, uh, the doors will open here at 7 o'clock. If you weren't in line, there's still a chance for you to go ahead and get your hands on one of these phones. They're not sure how how many they're extra they're going to have after the pre-orders, but they're telling people if you want to go ahead and gamble, come on down and they'll see if they can accommodate you at least maybe with the next order that comes into the store. Back to you guys in the studio. Wow, that's amazing to see all those people out there that they have that many phones available. Listen to the buzz. I, I mean, you could just hear the, the people just... So they're all talking about your birthday. <laughs> like what the big plans are tonight, what everybody's going to yeah. be doing. That's oh, the buzz boy. down there, Chris. Oh, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> um... <laughs> All right, what are we doing now? Oh, we're taking a break. Yeah.
Yeah, we're going to take a break. Okay. <laughs> we need to take a break. Yeah, we do. We'll be right back. <laughs> the new iPhone looks like a big hit. It went on sale this morning, and people lined up for it all night long. CBS 5's Jose Miguel has been out there all morning long with some of these folks. And, Jose, are there still people out there waiting? It looks like you got a line behind you still. There is, but here's the good news. This is where it ends. Earlier this morning, it actually went all the way down past this, all the way down to where the Cheesecake Factory restaurant is here at the Biltmore. But it's still, look on this side of the line, it still kind of wraps around the building. It goes all the way around this building to the front door. Now, Apple is expected to sell about a million of these iPhones today, and people are spending anywhere from two to $400 per phone. But they all tell me that it's worth it just to get the latest creation from Apple. To say these people take an Apple product launch seriously may be an understatement. All of these people have been here for hours waiting to buy a phone. I was here about 8.39 o'clock. Jarrell says he doesn't mind camping out for the new iPhone. He says there was plenty to do to pass the time. Hanging out, meeting cool people. Met a new tattoo artist. This is going to be awesome. So what is it about this phone that had him and a lot of these other folks camping out? Apple's new face-to-face -face technology. Being able to talk to somebody on the uh, other end and actually see them, it's going to be pretty cool. And for some, this isn't their first time lining up like this. Many of them have more Apple products than they care to mention. 13-inch MacBook, two Apple TVs, um, an iPhone, an iPhone 3GS, um, I've got all sorts of stuff. But despite all the gadgets and gizmos people like Brian have, nothing is quite like their precious iPhone. I use it every day. I mean, literally, I'm always glued to it. I didn't think there would be this many people this early. But not everyone made it out here as early as the others. Even though the line quite literally wrapped around the building, some people still decided to wait it out. I waited in line for the first iPhone. I waited in line for the 3G, so I knew I'd be in line, but I just didn't think it would be this long. But what if the wait ends with some walking away with nothing to show for it? I will be a little depressed for a couple days, but then I'll just order one online and I'll just have to wait. I'm very impatient, but I'll do it. Well, Apple will not say exactly how many of these phones are available today, but you can see this line stretches for quite a bit. They tell me that they are fairly, fairly being the operative word, confident that they will get all of these people satisfied with their purchases. If not, they tell me that they are more than happy to help you order one online. They'll also help you order one that will, can be delivered to the store. So either way, you won't walk away too disappointed if you can't physically take one home with you today. But uh, again, the line is still out here. It's moving very slow, so be very well aware of that if you decide that you're going to wait it out. Live here in Phoenix, Jose Miguel, CBS 5 News. Yeah, Jose, and it's hot out there as well. Wow. It really is. <laughs> okay, thanks, Jose.